The tenth commandment, not to covet, not to covet your neighbor's properties, wife, property, animals. The idea of coveting is an old English word, probably derived from the French coveteur, and quite possibly related to the modern covoiteur, um, possibly even originated in the Latin cubiditas. Either way, it means to yearn, to want something strongly. And the Hebrew, sachmoid, coming from the Shoresh also of Cham, Ches, Mem, because in Kabbalah, the two-letter root of the three-letter Shoresh already give, provides a direction, and Cham means warmth, heat. It means somehow the emotions arising in a way which we're yearning for something, and nevertheless, it's not a proper goal of yearning. Now, behind here lies a question of how do our emotions flow? Why would someone yearn for someone else's property? Being envious of somebody, being jealous of somebody, wanting other people's property. Either it's insecurity, or it's a quest for power and control, or it may be a wish to experience um, the sensuousness of life someone else's wife. Either way, it's coming from Nefesh Bahamis, from the wrong place. Nefesh Bahamis means our self-oriented drive, security, food, clothing, shelter, and self-actualization, as Maslow noted. And that means we want to preserve ourselves. It's me, I, it's ego. Of course, we should desire to live but not to the degree that the Nefesh Bahamis yearns for other people's properties. There's an adequacy. And underneath all this lies the notion of emuna. Do I have the faith that Hashem is providing me exactly what I need at the moment? As Perek says, Ezehu Ashir HaSameach Bechalke. Who is the rich one? The one who is truly happy with his lot. And that means to be able to have that sense of relationship of closeness with Hashem so that we recognize what I have now is all that I need. Certainly, I can have a bit more and uh, God forbid, a, I might have a bit less. But within that particular framework, if God should provide me with more, wonderful. It means Hashem has trust in me in order to handle it correctly and rightly. So the idea of tachmoid, cham, heat of passion, means that I have to adopt a discipline of mind because every emotion is predicated upon a posture of mind. Mind produces emotions, as the Alter Rebbe notes in Sefer Tanya, moyach shalit al halev. Any feeling we have is the result of a momentary mind disposition. And even if you think that's not the case, you say, oh, no, that emotion just came. Nothing just comes. The microsecond, which you didn't even register in your consciousness, was there. So one has to train one's mind. And the training of one's mind towards emuna, faith in Hashem, is at the core of this commandment, lo sachmei, the Tenth Commandment. Don't allow your lower order self to yearn for someone else's property, because that means you're inadequate as a person and you have the capacity to overcome that. And therefore, a very basic law in terms of inner balance and being able to be a proper member of society and also live a life of inner peace.